everybody. I'm doing a 60 minute session for a client and I want to thank you all for joining in on this experience. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read the session goals and get tuned in. Okay. I don't understand why I'm unable to feel joy. I feel stuck in sadness and I struggle to move on from my past so I can enjoy life in the here and now. I feel blocked in my heart, throat, and sacral chakras. I would like to understand what blocks I have in my energy body that need to be healed. I believe there is trauma stored in my energy and physical body. And even though I've worked with a therapist, I don't feel like we're clearing the source of the issues I'm experiencing. <sighs> Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I'm just feeling out through your goals. I'm just exploring how they make me feel. And I'm just feeling out your self-expression. Because I have blocks in the heart and the throat and the sacral chakras. I mean, this is about enjoying life. Um, self-expression, um, the freedom to just um, feel the love just glowing from deep within yourself, the spirit of yourself, the love of all, right? So if there's blocks from you being able to express your spirit, your inner glow, to feel the inner glow within it itself, the sacral chakra, to have blocks there that prevent you from really feeling the blessing and the joy of living, the pleasures of life, I mean, that would make anybody feel like they were having a hard time feeling joy. <sighs> Man, there's just, there's something here. I'm going to go ahead and relax. <sighs> I'm curious to see what, what we discover today. And thank you as well for being open to sharing with others. So we're going to learn a lot. Okay. You definitely want, I mean, anybody does, right? Everybody wants to be happy. You definitely want this, but there's something that doesn't want this. And it's also a part of yourself. And we're going to have to learn what happened to this part of yourself. It just wants to keep holding on to its personal journey. It's personal experiences. And when you have parts of yourself that are doing this, they're, they're shielding out the ability to just let the love flow, to be able to receive that. This is still just the beginning. This is still just learning about you. And it's interesting, when I enter into your energy field, it's pretty... It's silent. It's more silent than I would expect it's like if you took the flavor out of uh, the awesomest chocolate cake of all time or out of the best sundae you could ever eat like out of the most exquisite food you just take the flavor out you know you can eat the food and that's nourishing and that's great but it's lost its flavor it's lost its color it's lost its life force energy so even coming in here, it's really bland. It's like flavorless food. I mean, the food doesn't have to have flavor. It's not like, I mean, if food didn't have flavor, then I might have more of a, a balance with <laughs> consuming it. <laughs> but it's lacking, right? It's like the candle burnt out, but it's somehow still expressing that it's there, but yet it's gone. <laughs> you, you did do this to yourself, but we're going to understand why, okay? And me just saying that makes me feel sad inside. <sighs> 
it has to do with, again, it has to do with just not wanting to let go of certain experiences that had happened. It's more than this, though. Again, I'm working with what feels like uh, silky smooth black liquid with gray puffs of clouds. And there's something nice about it that's silky. It feels cool in my hands. Like it's cool to feel the silkiness. It's like a baby oil or something, but it's like a flowing like a waterfall. And it's like a silky black. And then there's puffs of like gray clouds in this flow. I'm going to do something different. Because it's almost as if it wants to be identified as, as not good enough or not, you know. Like I, I would come into your energy field and I would evaluate this as a problem. But if I don't evaluate it as a problem, now I'm getting to something. Because it's almost like you want me to see this as a problem. And me saying that makes me feel kind of emotional. You have really complex aspects of your mind. It's almost like... It's like you send information around a circle and then this way. It's almost like you're testing me to see what I'll say or what I'll do to prove something to yourself. And this would not, I don't know that this goes, is at the conscious level, okay? This is inside yourself. It's sneaky. It's like slightly manipulative, but it's clever. It's almost undetectable. But I find it strange, this energy just kind of kind of loops around and it's watching me, you know? It's watching my every reaction to everything in order to, it's just, it's like, man, you're really going overboard here. Like, you really are spending way too much energy just trying, it's like having this expectation of how I would evaluate things and then if I kind of kind of uh, lean in the direction that you think that I'm probably going to go, then it proves everything. You have an aspect of yourself like this inside, okay? It's not, it doesn't want to just be straightforward. I'm, it's almost like, I'm like, okay, can you help me understand um, what upsets you the most? And instead of it just being straightforward, it literally starts like an orbit around the sun. Really small, and then it goes all the way over here, and then it slowly comes around, and then it just finally reached me. It's not just like, bam. It's like this goes all the way around. But it still doesn't have an answer to the question. <laughs> So this method is also preventing you from knowing yourself. So you're manipulating yourself into... This is also a process of manipulating yourself into feeling like you don't know the answer, but yet you do. And again, this, I don't know how at the conscious level you're going to be... You may you may be familiar with some of the things I'm talking about, but I don't think you're consciously doing this on purpose at all. I like I don't even think you're co maybe consciously aware of this. This is, but it's all silky. It's very very silky energy. It's very silky. I, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like really awesome to touch it, but it's got its own. It's taken the long way around, and then by the time it gets to me, it doesn't know. And then, but it, <laughs> but yet it has this underlying like hunch about things. And then if I kind of lean in a tiny little direction, I told you, I knew it, <laughs> but you don't even know. Like, what, where's your problem? Where's the root of the problem at? And I know you're telling me here in your goals, 
that you're trying to figure this out. You're trying to put your finger on it. There's got to be something going on in your energy field. Well, yeah, there is. So when I walk into your energy field, I'm being introduced to this, which would explain why you don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. I will get you to be a straight shooter by the end of this. I am determined to get you to talk directly to me. <sighs> Boy, you have a very unique way of communicating. <sighs> All right. I'm trying to talk to you about the silky smooth and the black silky and the gray clouds. And to say, you know what? If this is what, what, how you need to express yourself, then that's how you need to express yourself. Interesting. That neutral response. You just put that one like, okay, well, then I can just stay like this. If I were to say, well, this is a problem. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. You're already judging me. It's like, oh, this is, there's nothing wrong here. No, see, you see how it's like every energetic response means you don't have to change but you clearly are noticing stuff you clearly are wanting to change this is a major energetic buildup and it's i've never come across anything quite like this okay <laughs> you created this you're the master creator like you did it <laughs> you did it it's impressive it's like super impressive so like this whole time as I'm talking to you, I'm like, I'm literally, I'm in here feeling all this stuff out and then having communications. So I'm trying to keep you up to speed with everything that's going on. I might have to be then extremely direct because neutral or just saying, you know what, this will be fine the way that it is, is not going to support change. It's just going to give you another reason to not change. <sighs> and I need to just not even play into your games. Like your little mind games. I can feel them. All of them. And for some reason, I'm, I'm looking at different ways that I could communicate in order to help shift that. But really, I need to just... You know what? I'm not going to play into your weird mind games. I'm just going to be straightforward. You have a part of yourself that is like this, manipulative like this. But like, um, really, it's so delicate and so silky and so smooth, you wouldn't even know. And it takes this very long orbit all the way around and it prevents you from really knowing yourself. But it doesn't want to change. Yet it is punishing you, which then is punishing itself. But it's separate from, the, from it being the problem. <sighs> so manipulative. So I'm going to not, I'm going to disconnect from hearing all the little nuances and I'm just going to go straight forward. And I'm just going to say, I would really like to know how you feel inside. What is something that you really like about life? Oh man. <sighs> That is jacking up my, there's like a splitting um, feeling. It's not like a headache. It's like an energy tingle that goes straight down this. It's like a splitting feeling. And it's really tight in my throat. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do more of the talking and I'm going to bring this part of you, the one, this kind of manipulative one, 
and I'm going to bring her with me and I'm talking to her about the things that you said about the throat being blocked and of the heart and the sacral chakra and I'm showing her when I ask the question well what do you like about life what is meaningful about life it that I feel this so I'm just telling her straight up what I'm feeling you say let's go take a look at Hmm. Let's go into the throat. It's going to go into the third eye, but let's go into the throat. That's one on the list. And there's a lot of resistance here and in going into the throat. Even for me. Like, I even am starting to wanting to take the long way around. Like, we'll just, okay, we need to go in the throat, but let's just go into the third eye. <laughs> you see this weird pattern? So let's go into the one thing I, I feel the, that I should wait and go into something else. No, I need to go into this. You are, you have, all right, it's like you have lots and lots of drones and that you're running things like this extraordinary program, okay? And so you're finding all the little nuances of every little detail that it could ever happen and might happen and won't, you know, and you're like literally living, you have like thousands of drones, which are like living computers that are um, analyzing, processing every single um, thread of information that comes through your throat. And again, this is all restricting you from being free, but this is safety. This is you being in control of your surroundings and your situation and of yourself. Like, it's um, incredible. It's actually incredible. But when you start um, working with computer energies, your life will start to feel like a computer energy. Like, even me talking about this, it's like... Uh, oh, it doesn't want... It, do, it, it would... I'm just going to let it be what it is. I'm not going to say anymore. I just want to continue to look in here. Because, <sighs> boy, when I get caught up in your throat, I can't even talk. <laughs> they keep playing pretend. Like, I'm walking deeper in here, and I'm getting to know one of these robot people. And it starts to if, make it out like it's a real person. And it's like, you need to be honest with yourself. You are in a robot person created for a purpose, like a program. And that's what you are. And you need to just be okay with that. Why are you changing for me? Because you think that I'm going to think less of you because you have robot people in your throat? So you better hide that one and make them all look like people now. I'd rather just know the truth. Like, I like the real you. I like the real you. And I like the robot people. They can just be robot people if that's what works for you. Just let them be robot people. So you judged me, and then you judged yourself, and then you judged the circumstance and created what you think would be appropriate based on what you perceive my judgment is going to be. Do you see the orbit of your process? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's actually really amazing. I, this is a one of a kind. This is one of a kind experience. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like laughing in here like really innocently because I think it's just so incredible like I, I was just like mind blown by how many processes you have in place inside yourself that are analyzing and perceiving and thinking and deciding and then changing and in order to fit some idea of a mold of what I'm going to approve of but it's not just me it's like life it's like how you would be around all people you would be like somehow analyzing each person and then deciding what works for them 
based on your analysis and <laughs> changing yourself somehow, like molding and shaping in order to be appropriate um, so they don't judge you in a certain way. <laughs> it's like, my God, <laughs> that's so much effort. It's incredible, like, because you're doing it that fast. You're like doing it that fast, although this is a very long, silky smooth process, but it's still done like quickly in comparison to what I would think it would take for anybody to do it. Take a long time. Oh man, me talking about it is, is, is shifting your energy field. It's actually draining. I, I feel suddenly in my third eye exhausted. And uh, my solar plexus. I'm going to totally, we're going to just break down this whole, just a second. I'm, I'm acting a little bit weird because you're kind of jammed up. Like you're just kind of getting really tight right now. And I'm telling you to, to be, be a mess. Be a robot. Be what people don't want you to be. I mean, literally, be what people don't want you to be. Be what you think. People wouldn't want you to be. It's helping to relax you. I've almost reached a really nasty thing. And it is in your third eye. It is in your face region, okay? It, it's, it, it does affect crown chakra as well. And it has to do with this whole thing. We'll get into your heart, we'll get into your sacral chakra, but it's also in your third eye. It's starting to get gross in here because all these robotic people are starting to look like tiny little maggots. Like white, and they're, it's, there's a grossness to it. It's like... It, it's, it's unfathomably gross. Um... <sighs> It's like thinking that you're eating the most delicious food and then suddenly and after you've been like gorging on it for, I don't know, 20 minutes, I'll like, ah, mashed potatoes, steak or whatever, you know, it's like your awesome food. And then you suddenly realize that it, you were eating maggots the whole time. It would make anybody barf. That's what it's like. You have, you have maggots all over in your throat. All these robot people are turning into a white maggots and maggots in your sacral chakra too and maggots in your heart the more real we get with each other the more real we get the more the, that I'm able to see clearly because you're choosing to want to see more clearly too and you do want to work on this I can tell because the communication in the air of your energy field is starting to understand why I am acting this way, why I'm not fitting into the patterns of your program, and why I'm encouraging you to stop with the program. And you define this as real, true love. And nobody really approaches you in such a raw way. You feel like people are functioning on so many different weird programs that you're trying to solve, to understand their program and then fit into whatever their pattern is so you can always be this sort of like perfect anomaly of what everybody needs but also so they don't judge you it's like so you can be in control of your circumstances and the way people perceive you okay these maggots have got to go but they are they are in your throat they're in your heart and they are in your sacral chakra. It's part of more of those blocks. I mean, you're clearly energy sensitive like big time. <sighs> you're so energy sensitive. You, you're doing these like extraordinary, like what you're just doing in general, like what I'm describing. You have to be crazy energy sensitive to do all this energy analysis on somebody in order to, to come to these conclusions of judgment, in order to alter your own energy flow, in order to communicate. Do you see how extraordinary this is? That tells me you're totally energy sensitive because you're feeling people out constantly and then creating your own identity. It's almost like you have to mold and shape yourself 
based on what you think they're going to think of you. Like, it's incredible. To be able to do this, you have to be energy sensitive. <sighs> you want, you're, you're starving for real people. You're starving for somebody who truly sees you. Because that is real, what real love is. And you're not familiar with that. Like, honesty. Like, the raw, real, true, honest person. Even the imperfect person that is still trying with all their might to be as honest and true as they can be. You're starving for that. You've been playing these weird mind games for so many years of your life. And you want so badly to just be pure and truly honest. But it's hard for you to even get to that yourself because we have to take down this in this um, kind of like instinctive nature. You don't have to do it anymore, which is going to bring a lot of energy back to you. You just let people judge. You just let people be whoever they want to be. You be who you are. But who are you? Have you even gotten to know who you are? If you've been doing this for years, then how will you ever know who you really are? Because <clears throat> you're not being who you are for everybody else. You're being whoever you think you need to be for everybody else. <clears throat> this is so good because you are opening up, but th this is a process, okay? This session is going to give you some definite clarity and awareness. It's a really great big step forward. But to get you to be able to stop doing this is going to take some, because this is on the extreme level, like it's not, I don't define this as post-traumatic stress because it doesn't have, but it's, it's a behavior like this, like post-traumatic stress, extreme event or extreme event that takes place one time or multiple times over and over again, molds and shapes you. And now it's kind of like um, downloaded into your energy field, very specific um, triggers, okay, that are hard. Very, it takes time to um, create safety with, with each one of those triggers. It takes time. Um, and by creating safety with each one of those triggers, it helps you to feel like yourself again. This is extreme like this, though. What you've got going on can take time because... This, you've been building this for how long? You've been following through with it for how long? How long have you not known yourself? Because like, you may think you know yourself, but you have all this going on and you, you don't understand why you're not happy. You don't understand because you got this going on. There is so, there is so many safety mechanisms in place. So this is ultra, like where it could be post-traumatic stress is like all these little threads of, in, of fear or anxiety or trauma, right? You have all these threads of safety and security in place and, and, and then you're using psychic ability in order to accomplish this. Um, but the, we have to take, we have to destroy safety and security. We have to destroy it. You're going to have to be completely exposed. You have to feel really uncomfortable to just be yourself and just not analyze people. You know how long it's going to take to get used to that as your norm? <laughs> so just to let you know, okay? But this, you having conscious awareness saying, okay, well, that's that's something I could work with. Now we're already quick. It, that's how you get the process to keep moving. The more that you work on what you become more aware of and keep trying. That's all you can do. Just keep trying, okay? <sighs> because already right now you're on board with let's see what we can do about this. But you, but as you say this, as you express this, I'm listening to your energy field and it is like stuck in position. <sighs> And I love a challenge, so this is right up my alley. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me see if I can... I'm just going to let this be. If I were to draw what this looks like, it's kind of like um, an oval shape cocoon space that we're in, all right, right now. There you are. There I am. We've been talking about the throat. We, we've kind of been moving into different images, okay? So we're in this space now. And it's like a like a... Kind of like a bird's nest that goes all the way around except for a little hole. <laughs> We're inside there without the hole. We're just in this like little cocoon space together. But all this weaving that creates this um, bird's nest 
it's like all these energy threads that have been woven together and 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 woven together over time. And we had to unweave all this. We had to create a new feeling of what safety actually is to kind of clear the old program of safety and control to just let you be the honest, true you for everybody and yourself. <sighs> But this could be just an idea of how the deep this could go. Like this could be friendships. This could be, you know, where you, where your friend, where it seems like you've always been yourself with this friend, but you've always been kind of um, whoever you think you need to be. And it's been the perfect relationship because you weren't ready to break that energies down, those energies down. This could go into jobs. Like people, you, you being the true you could be very confusing to people because they didn't know you were like that. You're like, because you've never really been that. Uh, that, that's how deep this could truly go. Like, that's the domino effect of how far this could could even go. But obviously, you're going to have to analyze this for yourself. You have to look at it in your own life and really ask the questions and think about it, okay? But um, we're, we've got this, like, cocoon-shaped space where we're, we're at looking at all the weavings. I'm going to go into your third eye into that. There's kind of a nasty thing that is, like, running the show. Okay. Hmm. Going into your third eye. Man, is it ever like... Um, I mean, it's totally blocked off. It's like walking into a... I don't know what this material is. Is it rusted metal that is like a meteorite that fell to the earth and rusted? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's like a rusted metal that slightly sticks out and you can't get in. Psychic doesn't mean you need your third eye. Like you are sensing people out like nobody's business. You don't need a third eye to, to sense all this information and me just looking at your third eye again there's this weird like a uh, line that goes down it's like a splitting energy feeling like like my brain it like it goes straight through the center like a line that goes right just through my head the energy goes up and down there and it does it's not like a headache or anything it's not like pressure it's just like a almost like a small burning sensation it's not that painful or that bad. It's fine, but it's a weird feeling. We'll get to all the maggots and stuff as well. We're just going to keep looking at your third eye here. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to open this. How am I going to clear this? How am I even going to come in here? I'm going to have to project my mind into your mind. <laughs> I'm going to have to be like Spock. <laughs> I'm going to do this <laughs> and I'm going in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm trying to, I'm, ju I'm just like trying to prepare myself. I'm so excited to see what's inside here. <sighs> okay. I tell you that you don't have to you don't have to change for me. You don't have to change this. I'm just going to go ahead and just take a peek. You don't have to open this up. We don't have to shake each other's hand. I'm just going to take a peek. And, and then we can just see what's going on in here. And you don't have to change for me. So be whoever you are. If you got robots going on, just be robots. If you got silky smooth going on, just be that. Like whatever you want to be. It doesn't want me in there. It's going to project its mind out to me. Well, <laughs> that's something. It's a pretty not, not nice looking face, but that actually makes me wonder if it's a, an entity, okay? It's got a male energy to it. 
It's all about control. It's kind of like, the, don't look at the man behind the, <laughs> the curtain. <laughs> don't know what's going on in here. And now it's really protecting its space. So it's mine is projecting out and I'm saying hello. Is it messy in there? Is that why I'm not welcome in your house? <laughs> is it like gum stuck to the, the couch? <laughs> and spots on the carpet? You think I'm going to judge you? This is, it's uh, something about shame. There's some, a feeling of shame that's like inconceivable shame. So bad that you can't look at it. You won't ever look at it. It's like you can't heal it. It's, it's inconceivable shame. So you don't even have the emotion. You can't cope with the emotion. <sighs> And you're going to make sure to put all these safeguards in to ensure that you never have to face that shame. That's why you're overly secure and protective and controlling of every tiniest little detail to safeguard yourself from ever feeling it. Because you, there's no emotion to actually cope with that feeling. It's, it's too much. That's what is being expressed here. I say, well, I'm here in order to help you transmute these energies. So I think between us, you and me, I think we could, I could help you transmute this. Some of it you're going to have to feel yes, but some of it I can feel with you. That's what I'm here for. You don't have to do it all by yourself. But you do know that you can't live like this anymore. You know that you can't live like this anymore. And it's time to heal. Man, oh man, this is heavy. Oh gosh, this is heavy. I mean, it's it hurts. This little bulge here, it's like, it hurts. And it's really heavy. It's fluttering up my heart. It's exhausting me. Man, we are going to break down these programs here. Like, no more robots. No more analyzing others in order to figure out yourself. Just no more of this. Oh, man. This is starting to jar. This The throat's starting to get involved with this now, too. I don't know why we're thinking about food that has no flavor again, like a chocolate cake, it's black and white, it's got like chocolate and white frosting somehow, like it's, um, <sighs> yeah, it's really exhausting. And just us talking about this, us looking at this, I mean, we're just, we're looking at this bulge and I'm feeling it out and I'm expressing the way it makes me feel. Throat's getting jarred, heart feels like fluttery and exhausted, like it could faint. Um, solar plexus is tired. Um, sacral chakra, like all your chakras are at, talking um, a as we communicate together about this around the third eye area, um, all your other chakras are expressing themselves. I'm going to tell you what, there, you have a bit of like a small army of the you that wants to keep this long orbit going, okay? Because it doesn't know how to be different. It's scared of change. Like it doesn't know how to just do it straightforward, and it doesn't know how. So if it doesn't know how, then it must just stand firm with the long way around. Because it doesn't know how to do it other, otherwise. So you have a bit of a small army here that, um, like, it kind of is echoing that as we shift and change, it's going to mess with the this. It's like echoing that. Like, it's going to do its job to put things back the way they were. 
So we're going to have to work on that now too, okay? <laughs> we have to work on the small army and help them feel that they can do this, that they can learn a new way, that they don't need to change things back to the way they were. Because even if, so if we change things and now you change them back to the way they were, you can't because nothing will ever be the same way that it ever was. <sighs> You can never change anything back to the way it was because it'll never be the same, ever. So there's no changing it. Like, why, why even try? Just continue going with the way things are now. So I'm already sending them this information to try to start that process of creating safety for them now, too. I tell you, at the third eye, this has to be removed. It looks like a very tall, skinny man. And it's not a human looking face. And in a way, this man helped you to create all this robotic stuff. Because there's a weird feeling of love between you and him. And he did this to help you. And so it's actually kind of confusing to him as to why I see this as not helping you because this is what he sees as helping you. But he doesn't understand the human emotions because he's not human. He's some alien. He's like an alien being. He totally helped you. I mean, I'm actually just getting to know him more. It's like, wow, he has a, he does have an expanded uh, understanding there's some smart and intelligence here, but he's working with his, his um, energy structures, his knowing of himself and how energy balance works for his kind, for his type, okay? But that doesn't work for a human. It's also kind of keeping you close to him. Because if you're to change, then, then he's going to lose you. And you remind him of what love feels like. So he needs energy work as well. <laughs> He's going to need some help too. He's done other things, I feel like. It's his, is it his? Is it your shame or is it his shame? Because he doesn't want to see what... He doesn't want you to see what happens behind closed doors between you and him. <laughs> I have to wait a minute. I'm just placing my hand in this bulge. And I say you have no you have no power here anymore. It has nothing to do with the relationship or anything that was done behind closed doors. It's just simply it's time. Everything that you've helped create here was the divine timing. It's perfect for the learning, right? But the learning has changed. So your support and and everything that you represent is, is not needed. And now that he's projected outside of your mind, I can actually pull the rest of him out. And I'm literally containing him right now and I'm taking him out of your energy field. It's like, this is like the size of a coconut in your head. That was a very manipulative relationship. That was inspiring you to be, to manipulate yourself. It was, it's just nothing but manipulation going on here. You, I still feel a love that you have for him inside your heart. So you are familiar with this soul. You're familiar with who this is. But this is like an interdimensional being, okay? I don't even want to define it as an entity because entities are, I would say, more spirit, kind of wounded, broken spirit or parasitic being. This is just an intelligent interdimensional being that is got an agenda, okay? Like, he feels the love inside of you that you have for him and it brings meaning to his existence. 
he is encouraging you to get um, kind of backed into a corner more and more and more, but encouraging the, this process to feel appropriate so that he just can sim simply be with you, like in this way, that he wants to be with you. And because you love him, you're kind of allowing it. And it has helped you get through life, but it isn't anymore. That's why we're having this conversation here in this session. So it's, man, this getting, this is starting to turn into a headache. This is starting to hurt. You need to be angry about this. I'm, I, I, I feel like your emo the true emotions that you should be having right now are anger. You're not allowing yourself to, you're kind of neutralizing. You need to actually feel this time. <sighs> this is not a dissociate a moment. The, this is a moment where you need to be fully present in your body, fully present with an emotional response. This being was trapping you and manipulating you. And there's you can argue it whatever way you want, but that's actually what was going on here. <sighs> I'm talking to you, the, the yous that I've been talking to you, you're going to watch this, so you're going to know it at the conscious level too. It's so good. You, you are starting to feel angry. But you don't know how to feel angry. <laughs> See, that's okay. But usually when you get taken advantage of and strung out and it changes and shapes you into a certain type of of human being who's miserable in life for years and you don't know why and you can't get out of it, usually you kind of start to feel angry. <laughs> That's pretty normal. This is, this is, this is creating a ripple effect. You don't know how to feel angry, but you kind of getting it. You understand what I'm saying, but it's not triggering you. And um, and I say, don't worry about it. You don't have to try to create anger. I'm just telling you that what a normal human being would feel, like wh where you're balanced with your emotions, it's okay to feel angry. That's actually healthy. I know that we're trying to ascend to a point where we don't work with those emotions anymore, but guess what? We're working to that point. I mean, it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel confused. It's okay to feel um, certain feelings. you got to be expressing them. But if you don't know how to, just say, I'd like to know how I, how, I'd like to know more about my feelings associated with this. And then explore, why, why would I feel angry in this situation? Why would I feel angry? Okay, I'm going to pretend to be angry. <sighs> All right, I'm creating a, a safe space for you to go into to pretend to be angry at this being, okay? <laughs> it's very emotional. <sighs> it's not, the anger isn't coming up, but the emotions are really active here, like, like tears. So I, I'm encouraging you to continue to amp up the volume here and get angry. All right, this is helping because it's activating your solar plexus more and it's sending energy up the back, like your back of your neck and, and head are starting to be felt. Okay, let's try... Uh, Let's, let's see if we can try some other emotions just to see. <sighs> Your comfort zone with emotions. I'm getting you to have a straight talk, okay? Even if we're pretending to have a straight talk. That way, this whole roundabout thing, we're done with it. I'm just going to continue to encourage that to go away. And we're just going to continue to work on straight talk. So we'll pretend to have other feelings. This is pretending. This isn't forcing you to have feelings that you don't have. It's just pretending to have feelings in order to really explore feelings. There is something, I don't define this as a dissociate scenario, but it is kind of. It's really numbed out emotional reactions to things that I feel 
that this has to get looked at, okay? And we're talking in association with this being and what this being assisted you in creating, which ended up imprisoning yourself. And now a life is, conf it's like, why is my life like this? Why can't I feel joy and happiness? It's really a complicated situation. And this has been weaving and weaving and weaving and weaving and weaving and weaving and weaving for years. Okay, again, I'm starting to break through yet another layer to get into your head. I mean, seriously, this is starting to look like a coconut, literally. It's like a constipated thing just in your third eye and will not push out. I mean, it's literally like that. And you're a bit freaked out by it because you want that out of your third eye now. I say I don't blame you. But this this here is a process. Simply acknowledging what it is that you want because this is your body. This is your life. Now you get to decide. Not the roundabout way. We're going to like really face this head on. This is what you want. You want this out. That's really good. That's really good progress here. Okay. You're tired, you're sleepy, you're exhausted. You want to go to bed. This is good. This is actually really good. This is really natural. It's just because this is just so much. I'm still looking at your third eye. As I also experience you just feeling very tired. Like you, this is just such a weird thing. Like, trying to feel these emotions like what you're just trying to put, like catch up with it all like you, makes sense but for some reason i tell you it's not time to rest yet and i hold you your hand and i say we're gonna go into your third eye now because the reason this isn't coming out is because it's in a way you're afraid of what you're gonna find going in <laughs> And you're not going to be afraid anymore. Because this is your... It's like uh, it's like having an awesome property, okay? And finding out through the grapevine over the next, like, 5-10 years that it seems to be going downhill. And you really don't want to know how bad it is. And then you finally get there and it's like, oh my god. It, it's like destroyed. It's like a destroyed house now. Like, what, what happened? You know? You're afraid of what you're going to see in here is going, it's not going to be pretty and you're not going to like it. And I say, that's fine. It's no big deal. You know how many things I don't, I don't like? It's okay to not like something. <sighs> in fact, if you were to say, I don't like this, then that's actually you being straightforward and saying, I don't like this. Okay, we can work with that. As we go into your third eye, it's opening up your sacral chakra. It is a, it is like a, some type of sexual thing. It is something, it's almost like with this entity, this being. It's almost like a, a interdimensional romance. But it seemed as though you were, it seemed kind of okay. Because I don't feel like, I mean, it feels like you're kind of okay with it. It's like becoming more um, louder and more physically felt. And he, it also gives him like, um, he feels like he's helping you and it brings meaning to him but it's parasitic help like it's not help actually what your human self needs and so this is just it's like an echo of a an intimacy between you and this being and
we're just gonna have to let the, I mean it's just being expressed it's still being expressed so I'm just letting this go all the way through so as we open the third eye it's showing me these um, images and feelings I'm even allowing him to have some ability to see what we're looking at. And I'm, I'm telling him that, um, I mean, there's no judgment on any of this stuff. It's just simply, it, it was, it's just kind of shr shrouding you more and more from being able to be happy as a human being. So it's just simply something, it's something you're both learning about. Really, she keeps echoing that he really feel, felt like he was helping you. He's starting to change. Like, it, something is changing about his appearance, even. He's starting to kind of... Almost like he's drying up or disappearing in a way. Where we're just able to focus just on you again. It's it's almost like he needs time to f figure this out himself. <laughs> it literally, it's kind of like a odd um, interdimensional romance. This is going to give you your own breath of air. This is going to give you your own mind to make your own decisions. This is going to give you your body back. And for you to express yourself how you want to. Without all these programs. You're going to feel like a new person. I'm still clearing out this energy in your sacral chakra. I'm just simply neutralizing it no, with, there's just simply no judgment of it. It's just an exploration. So I'm neutralizing it. But you, you are a dynamic, you have a dynamic approach and you need time to really think about everything. And that actually is great. You should go think about everything. You're starting to feel a bit emotional too. And I say it's okay to, pre to, to just let your feelings flow. And you can pretend to have feelings too, just to try to understand how you feel about something. I've done this in my own life where I feel like I should be angry. So I'm just going to pretend to be angry because I just need to know what, what that means to me. And, and so then I get it out that way and it's like, wow, I really am angry. So how come I don't feel angry? I don't know why. Because I'm, I, I try to neutralize as much as possible, but I don't know that that's always the best approach. I find that we have to be as true to ourselves as we possibly can. So even just, I do this where I just pretend to have feelings to explore. Am I really mad or am I just, I can't even get any anger out? Am I sad about this? Am I confused about this? You know, so I have to do this too. <sighs> I tell, I'll tell you what, it activates so many aspects of yourself and it helps you to get to know yourself and be more able to just simply express yourself and be okay to express yourself however you want to. You know, it's your life, your body, your voice. Being human is confusing all the time. <laughs> it's like I'm having a bad day, but I should be optimistic. So do I ha am I having a bad day or am I having a wonderful day? Like... Well, I'm going to just keep my head up and choose to be happy, even though I don't feel happy. Like, so am I being true to my feelings or am I just being pretending to be happy? Like, you see how confusing it is to be human, but that's okay. It's okay to just have fun with our emotions, to even wonder about our emotions, to play pretend with our emotions. This is how we get to know ourselves. you know, it's really going to help you too. Because I can tell in your energy field, there's just so much like muted, um, you know, that long way around is, is actually disappearing quite quickly. You're becoming, you're, you're 
honing in on it. You are wanting to change this up. It may take some time to adjust for an adjustment, right? But you are already adjusting. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible. And you are open-minded because you just want to, you really want to be happy. All right. So more of this is still kind of coming out. That's like almost out. It's like literally the size of a football now. I know it's getting bigger and not smaller, but it, that's how much was jammed up in there. See what you weren't, this is like a sign that there was a lot that you weren't seeing. Okay. Because this so being so jammed up is saying that there's a lot that you weren't seeing. <sighs> Still isn't pushed all the way out. <sighs> I'm just going to stay with it for a little bit longer. I see that army of you of you small army is already disappearing the maggots aren't there because you're letting go of that weird um program robotic nature like analyze over analyzing things it's all that's all disappearing i'm telling you there's going to be more layers to this but this session alone is going to start the process of clearing stuff out Cleaning stuff out, getting your energy flowing in a new way in order to reveal what the next layer is, okay? You're, you saying, I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see myself. I'm ready to see my reality. I'm ready to see psychically. I'm ready to see. Literally, you saying, I'm ready to see, and even saying it from your heart, saying it from your third eye, saying it from your sacral chakra, saying it from all your chakras, I'm ready to see that that's the next thing that is an affirmation that is going to take you very far and to say i am powerful enough to see like i can see i am able to see i am seeing clearly and i i feel like it's okay you, you know because you have so much going on here don't be too hard on yourself about holding on to the past all right just we're just going to start with this introduction to you and just to kind of build some awareness and i can feel that you just feel monumentally and a huge step forward okay there's a lot of dynamics to you you're already starting to let go of that congestion just by saying this, I'm ready to see now. I see clearly now. Like anything about seeing and choosing to see. And I want to see more than I've ever seen before. I want to see. I'm, I'm open to seeing psychically. I'm open to, you know, just even just talking about it. Saying it. The words seeing. Like it's opening your third eye. It's activating it. It's a choice. You're taking over your own body. You're choosing for yourself. What you want out of this life. You want to see clearly. This is a huge improvement. This is a huge improvement between your third eye and your crown. I feel like there just needs a little bit more work here before I want to step away. It's kind of like a black hole. Like it's kind of cored out. It needs some tender love and care for a minute here. And it needs to have a clear connection with your crown chakra because it's almost like I wanted to summarize what happened. I My camera stopped recording the session. But uh, so I went into your third eye as there, it was just a bit, there's just a little bit that needed to be worked on there between the third eye and the crown. And something cool that I had discovered about you and the reason why that you're so... <sighs> you take the time to you know, put all these programs or these ways of these uh, approaches to other people in place because you actually care about the feelings of others. So you have this beautiful, loving energy about you and it's like putting others first. So you judging them in order to be who you need to be to be who you need to be for them 
is also who you need to be for yourself. But you're kind of doing this because you are so empathetic. Like you're tuning into um, who you need to be to be supportive of who they are. And this is something that is going to get curbed. It's going to change. Because the love has to come back to yourself. So what are your needs? And you exploring empathy towards yourself. It's also you allowing other people to get to know who you are. To learn how to be supportive of your needs. Instead of you being kind of the epicenter of um, this support for everybody else. It's support for yourself. There's a shift going on here about this. And uh, so I, I at least wanted to let you know that was the last thing that came through about just continuing to work through your third eye and crown to just bring more balance to this. There's also more energy expressed. It's something about your third eye and your sacral chakra have a connection with each other. So more of that um, energy is kind of um, clearing out of your sacral chakra. But this is a really good start to a new energetic approach, like a, a shift and a change to your whole life path. <laughs> hmm. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to get to work with you. It's just it's really special. You have a very unique um, approach to life and your energy field is, is definitely one of a kind. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you for sharing. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, have a great day, everybody.